Life in the Ice Age was ephemeral and racked with peril. As early humans spread out across the mammoth steppe that covered much of Eurasia in the late Pleistocene, they had to contend with predators, the harsh weather, disease, injury, and more. All of this they managed to do without modern clothing, technology, buildings, and healthcare. Modern humans, even with their knowledge of such innovations today, would struggle to keep themselves alive out on the mammoth steppe. So how did our hardy ancestors manage? Today, we will be aiming to answer this question through examining fossil and archaeological evidence. What did early humans do to help them through the harsh winters of ancient Eurasia? How did they defend themselves from bears, hyenas, lions, and more? Most importantly, how did they get through the Ice Age to the comparative warmth and safety of the Age of Civilization? Join us as we head back through time to discover all of this and more. It's important to note before we proceed that we're technically still in an Ice Age today. The world's climate still continues to shift between glacial and interglacial periods, which is one of the hallmarks of an ice age on planet Earth. What we refer to as an ice age in science and popular culture is a period of intense cooling that took place between around two and a half million years ago up until around 11,000 years ago where the planet was, on average, between 5 to 6 degrees Celsius or between 10 to 11 degrees Fahrenheit colder than it is today. This period was characterized by a drop in sea level worldwide, the formation of massive glaciers across the world, and the spreading of permafrost in the world's colder regions. This led to a cold, dry climate in some areas of the world, such as Eurasia, where the vast mammoth steppe was able to form as grasslands were encouraged to spread. This permitted the evolution of very large animals, or megafauna, which were well suited to the cold conditions on the wide open steppes. These animals were just one of the hazards that faced early humans in the Ice Age, but they were a force to be reckoned with. Cave bears, short-faced bears, big cats, hyenas, and wolves roamed the plains and forests, while giant herbivores provided a strong yet deadly food source for our ancestors. In Europe alone, ancient people hunted woolly mammoths, woolly rhinoceroses, hippopotamuses, giant deer, and even some of the aforementioned carnivores. Hunts were dangerous and needed to be planned efficiently, for life could easily be lost if humans were not wary. If dangerous animals weren't enough, Ice Age humans lived in a world devoid of modern technology, where they needed to rely upon stone tools, fire, and animal hides to protect them from danger and the elements. Early humans would not have had advanced medicines and knowledge of necessary surgery to reliably prevent infection and death, and as such, life expectancy was low. In the Paleolithic, the oldest section of the Stone Age, humans were lucky to survive past their 33rd birthday. This would have been attributable to disease, exposure, animal attacks, and injuries from the environment. So, faced with all these dangers, how is it that humans managed to make it through the Ice Age and survive into the modern day? Let's dig a little deeper to find out. Amazingly, our social ability as a species may have been an early key to success in surviving the harsh conditions of the Ice Age. Our large brains and capacity for speech permitted this features that had been in the evolutionary works since our ancestors climbed down from the trees. With speech came the ability to plan ahead and spread knowledge to one another without having to experience life-threatening experiences firsthand. If a member of a tribe had survived an attack from a bear, for example, knowledge of the danger of bears could be passed down to friends and family to ensure they avoided bears where possible in the future. Speech would also have helped immensely when preparing and discovering new technologies. 
Guides on how to prepare food, tools, and clothing could be passed down generationally, and stories of survival told around campfires could help future humans to stay safe. Humans process the natural world and the dangers it posed through art, song, dance, and storytelling, something that other animals that are perhaps more physically well adapted to cold, harsh climates are unable to do. Through sociability and language, humans could keep track of which plants were and weren't safe to eat, which animals were easy to hunt, which regions of the world were unsafe, and where unfriendly tribes might be situated. Moreover, humans had the means of recording this information, not through writing, although that would come later, but through art. Cave paintings today, such as those in France's Chauvet Cave, show immaculate reconstructions of cattle, horses, rhinoceroses, and other wild animals. While these paintings may have had cultural or religious significance, they also may have been used to track information about the natural world to inform future members of the tribe how to stay safe in the wilds. Moreover, these humans appeared to have immaculate knowledge of their environment. The animals depicted in these paintings are proportionately perfect from an artistic standpoint, and some even show seasonal changes in wildlife such as alterations in the colors of furs. Ancient humans took great care to learn their environment closely so that their children and their children's children may be protected from their ancestors' dangerous discoveries. Animals in the genus Homo are the only animals to have ever produced advanced, planned, crafted tools to help them control and alter their environment. As the Ice Age fell upon our planet, humans seemed to have responded very well technologically. Although these folk had no access to metalworking yet, they were able to see themselves through danger using tools and weapons crafted from stone, bone, and wood. As you're still here today watching this very video, this technology seems to have been sufficient in helping our ancestors survive the Ice Age. Around the turn of the Ice Age, humans seemed to have begun developing multi-purpose stone tools that were widespread amongst the tribes of the Mammoth Steppe. Many of these tools are known as lithic flakes, crafted from minerals such as flint that could have been carved and adapted to suit specific needs. Before the Ice Age, humans had become adept at using stone scrapers and basic knives, but soon, they would develop utensils such as burins, spearheads, harpoons, and more. Anthropology expert Brian Fagan, in an interview with National Geographic, likened these ancient tools to the modern Swiss army knife. Different shaped rocks could complete different jobs and tasks depending on how they were carved. Across the Ice Age, ancient humans relied on stone bifaces or hand axes to achieve certain objectives. These flattened points, sharp at the edges to be used for cutting, could be used for a variety of purposes. Everything from chopping food to cutting into bone and antler. These bifaces made effective knives and were produced everywhere across the ancient world. They were intricately produced by scraping pieces of rock down to a desired shape and became the basis for many future designs seen across the Stone Age. Bifaces would later be adapted to become stone spears, which were fastened on to the end of wooden shafts to better pierce the hides of animals whilst hunting. Initially, these were thrown manually but later innovations across the Ice Age have shown that soon spear throwers or atlatls were created. These tools allowed a spear to rest on a wooden structure that could be launched forward when thrown, sending the projectile flying at much greater speed and force than if it was thrown purely by hand. Such tools would have been a staple when hunting large animals such as mammoths, to ensure the animal's thick hide was actually broken. Early humans also made the most of food sources within rivers, lakes, and seas. And to do that, harpoons were required. 
Some of the most basic early harpoons were crafted from sharpened wood, where an ancient fisherman would stand by a water source and launch the projectile at their target. As tool making became more widely understood, however, harpoons seemed to shift towards more intricate designs crafted from bone and antler. The limb bones of grazing animals such as deer could be used to create these long, sharp fishing utensils, which were often jagged at the tip. Fish could be more reliably speared with these advanced harpoons, which ensured that food sources were obtainable from the water when large game could not be taken. Perhaps most importantly, Ice Age humans began to develop technology to help them stay warm in the notoriously cold Pleistocene Ice Age. The first clothing came in the form of makeshift poncho-like garments crafted from the hides of hunted animals. These were very loose-fitting and would have doubled up as bags and blankets as people traveled and slept. Around 30,000 years ago, however, early humans produced the first needles. These simple objects, small, thin, and sharp with an eye for threading, would have allowed humans to make fitted clothing that could be tailored to suit a specific person. New clothing could therefore be made, fastened together using the fibers of flax plants. The clothing in question could be made from several pieces of animal skin to which fur could be attached, which would keep an early hunter much warmer than a single piece of loose-fitting hide. Such outfits were often layered and provided near-complete protection from the cold. Of all the innovations brought about by mankind in the Ice Age, perhaps the most life-saving was their capacity to make and adapt shelters from materials and sites in the natural world. While we picture the classic image of the caveman when thinking about the Ice Age, caves were not the sole locations in which humans made dwellings. There is evidence, in fact, that humans have been constructing their own houses from animal materials and wood for around 500,000 years. While these structures were not considered homes or even houses, they served to protect humans from the elements when they were traveling or if they were out hunting in the wilderness for extended periods of time. Most man-made Ice Age shelters consisted of two components, a basic support structure and a basic covering. In warmer, forested regions, the support structure may typically have been made out of wood, with animal skins or vegetation draped over the top to provide cover from the elements. Out on the mammoth steppe where wood was a scarce resource, however, people needed to improvise. Evidence has been found from Siberia that some ancient humans used mammoth bones to make their huts covering the supports with the giant beast's hides. These structures would have provided the necessary insulation for humans traversing the open, windswept plains of Eurasia during the Ice Age. Those without these structures could swiftly succumb to hypothermia depending on the time of year and location on the steppe. Of course, many humans did indeed opt to live in caves throughout the Ice Age. Caves were numerous, needed little alteration to make them habitable, and provided excellent shelter from the wind, snow, rain, and cold. While some Ice Age cave dwellings were very deep, many were little more than simple outcrops or overhangs that provided just enough shelter from the weather. Animal hides could be hung up from any exposed direction to insulate the people inside, and fires could be lit within providing not only a source of heat and light, but a means of cooking food. Caves, once occupied, were some of the safest regions in the ancient world, where communities could gather to produce tools, tell stories, feast, and sleep. Cautions still needed to be taken when scouting out a cave to set up a campsite, however. Within the darkness, many dangers were presented to early humans, bears, wolves, lions, hyenas, and even competing bands of humans likely posed a substantial threat to those seeking shelter. 
those who intended on settling often needed to be prepared for a fight to ensure that nothing or nobody was already lurking within before they got too comfortable. Despite the hardships of the Ice Age, humanity prevailed. The technologies and adaptations explored in today's video ultimately ensured that human beings made it out of the Ice Age and into the dawn of civilization, which eventually led to the world we live in today. Before long, humans were living in permanent settlements where they learned how to manipulate metal, build defensive structures, and farm crops. All of the technology seen in the later Bronze and Iron Ages can be traced back to these early innovations in the Ice Age, which helped keep our ancestors alive.